Here we have Lesson 5, Multiplication with Tape Diagrams and Area Models. Here we have 31 times 4. Could you solve it using a unit form strategy? Think 30 times 4, and then add one more 4. Did you get 124? Again, that was 30 times 4, and just one more 4. Let's represent our thinking with a tape diagram. We'll go ahead and model 30 times 4. And so 31 times 4 would just be one more four. Then 30 times four. Can you imagine what the area would be in each of those units? That we chose four as each of those units. What would the area be within each of those? It would look like this. And of course, that would continue for each and every single one of those. What would happen, though, if we stacked those vertically? In other words, we stacked each of these vertically. It would look like this. So we have one, two, and then we'd have to get up 31 of those. Where we have this model drawn out. where it is that we have 30 times 4, that area model, and then we have 31 times 4 here. There's so many boxes within that drawing there. So let's represent all of those boxes using an area model that's a little bit more simplistic a little bit more s simple, easier to see. So we got that 4 there. This would be 1. And this here would be 30. What values would you put within each of those boxes? within that area model. If we look at this here, this would be 30, and this is 4. So within there, you would put 30 times 4. And down here, we would put 1 times 4. Both of these models, and all of these models, show how it is that we could go ahead and look at 31 times 4. What if, for 31 times 4, instead of having 31 times 4 and drawing it with that area model like this here, that instead, we counted four groups of 31. What would happen with uh, 
area. Would the areas have been the same? Both of these area models are still similar. So instead of counting 31 fours, we're counting four thirty ones. Thirty one times four does equal four times thirty one. That there is the commutative property of multiplication. Let's look at forty two times twenty six. Thinking about that area model. My unit that I'm going to go ahead and choose and think about is 26. I'll look at 40 26s. And then, as you see here, there's two more still. So within those boxes, I'm looking at 40 times 26, and then I'm looking at 2 times 26. The area for this one right here, and that littler box, 2 times 26, is 52. And the area for 40 times 26, I can go ahead and write out. Place a 0. 4 times 6 is 24. 4 regroup a 2. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10, it's 1,040. So those two areas that I just computed, I will add together to get 1,092. Using our standard algorithm, I'm going to go ahead and reverse these factors. Just change the order that we multiply them together. You will see why in just a second. We see 26 times 42. So we'll start with the 2. 2 times 6 is 12. 2, regroup a 1. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. Cross out the regroup. Place a 0. So I'm working with 26 times this 4, but that 4 is worth 40. That's why I placed the 0. 4 times 6 is 24. 4, regroup a 2. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. And then I can go ahead and add those together. One thousand ninety-two, just like I had figured out with the area model. As you see here, when I did my multiplication with that standard algorithm, I had 26 times 2, it's right there, same thing, and I had 26 times this 4, which was worth 40, 1040, right here, matches up. So there is a connection in between the standard algorithm and the area model. You go ahead and try. Here is a problem for you. 36 times 52, I'll go ahead and help you start to draw a <laughs> area model. 3650 there for the area model, and then we still have two. Go ahead and use a standard algorithm as well. Make sure to put what you need to put into the boxes. On your standard algorithm, here we go, work that out. Pause the video. So we'll have 50 times 36 within that area model. And as you see right here, you have 2 times 36. So 2 times 36 is 72. 50 times 36, I'll place a 0. And then it's just 36 times 5. 
I'll still write 36 times 50. That way we can just see that work right there. It's 1,800. So adding those two together, we get the product as being 1,872. Using our standard algorithm, 36 times 52, we'll start with the 2. 2 times 6 is 12. 2, regroup a 1. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. Place a 0. 5 times 6 is 30. 0, regroup a 3. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 3 is 18. And adding them together, just as before, I also get 1,872. And I'll make sure to place my commas as well. 36 times 2, 72. That's right here. 36 times this 5, which is worth 50, which is right here. So again, there is a connection in between those two models and two approaches. Area model still works even if you are dealing with a three-digit number by a two-digit number. Go ahead and demonstrate. Here we have 425. We'll break this down here. That's two tens worth 20, along with three. And three what? Ones. So that's 425 times three, and 425 times 20. Four twenty five times twenty, that's eight thousand five hundred. Four twenty five times three is twelve seventy five. And adding those together, you get nine thousand seven hundred seventy five as our product. Using the standard algorithm. 425 times 23, we set it up. 3 times 5 is 15, 5 regroup a 1. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. 3 times 4 is 12, that 1,275. Just like there. Dealing with that 2, we place a 0 because it's worth 20. 2 times 5 is 10, 0, regroup a 1. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, and 2 times 4 is 8, 8,500, just like I had figured out before. Carefully add them together, and I get that same product of 9,775.